Hey, what's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner, and we're down here in Isla Mirada, Florida at Bud and Mary's. This is like one of the most iconic places in the Florida Keys, and it's owned by the Stanzik family. Many of you know Nick Stanzik because he runs a boat called the Broad Minded, but his dad is like an iconic, legendary captain who owns the backwater. I've wanted to fish with him for many years. Well, yesterday at about four o'clock in the afternoon, I get a call, hey, let's go fish. So we loaded up the truck, we headed down here. I am here for the conversation. I can't wait just to spend a day on the boat with Mr. Stanzik. This is like the little deli where everyone comes in, orders their breakfast, grabs a sandwich, get whatever you want, go out fishing all day long. I am so excited to be with y'all today. So we just came under the bridge there, spotted a big school of mullet. We're gonna go try to get some fresh bait. Yeah, they're sitting right there off the mangroves. Work out, and I can put you in the bait business down here, man. <laughs> I'm impressed. That was a pancake. Neutral, they're right there. We got a 40 mile run, and we got bait. Let's go. Let's do it. All right, here we go. I mean, when you look out, and it's just like a mirror, yeah. like that. Like the we want it this way from the car. All day. Rolling fish, free jumping fish, busting fish. Mostly free jumping fish. They like to jump clear out of the water, wiggle, almost looks like they're hooked. There's a fish just free jumped right there All at right. nine o'clock, 100 million percent. We're using about a six foot, 100 pound mono leader, using a six aught circle hook and a mullet head. What an amazing thing though, we're sitting out here, that's the mainland of Florida. We ran across the Gulf of Mexico. We've got tarpon in the background jumping and we're drifting at mullet head. I mean. See these frigate birds up here? Yeah. These things are universal. You can find these things back here over fish, sometimes over schools of permit. And other times they'll be 30 miles offshore over schools of dolphin or might even be coming down on a blue marlin chasing bait. Oh my god. Top left, top left. There you go. That is just that is just amazing. What an amazing fish. That Woo, we do it all here. The fish is going for it. So yeah, these big fish, usually we gotta chase them. You can hear that drag screaming, and uh, you know, obviously they can get 100 yards of line out on you in no time. So, nice thing with these trolling motors nowadays, they move these boats pretty quick, and it's real easy to turn, stop, do what you gotta do, and get on the fish quick. Don't do them quite yet. Whoa! And he just threw it, but all good. Listen, that is what you live for right there. <laughs> I mean, I was holding this GoPro in my hand, waiting to see that. It's yeah. not just watching it, but hearing it. You want that, you know, five minute adrenaline rush, jumping, dra drag screaming, get them next to the boat, let them go, let's go do it again. The Stanzik family, Bud and Mary's, it's all about conservation, it's all about environment, it's all about family in the outdoors, man. Let's do this! All right. Typically, whenever I fish like this, I hold my finger on it gently, I keep my bail open, when the fish eats, I give them some slack, come down to them. But Rick has a really unique way of doing things. What he does is he, he goes, oh, oh that, that actually just, that just happened like really crazy there. That was a shark bite, but what he does is goes super light on the drag, keeps the bale closed. When the fish eats and starts running, gently comes up on the drag and what that does is that slowly brings the circle hook to the corner of the fish's jaw. YouTube was founded on information. It's all about information. And the reason I encourage Nick and you guys to start a YouTube channel is because the amount of information you have, specifically down here in the Florida Keys, 
And, uh... Come on, do it here, buddy. Perfect, man. I mean, this is what you live for. This fish still doesn't really know he's hooked. I'm, I'm still super light on my drag, just letting that hook really find. Oh, it just came off right there. I knew the fish never knew he was hooked. He was just kind of holding on to the bait. You know something, Robert? Interestingly enough, you know, you come into the Alamrod area, there you see a sign, sport fishing capital of the world. Well, Alamrod certainly deserves that. You got the Atlantic Ocean, the reef line, the sea mounds, further out the sword fishing. You come over here to Florida Bay, and you got all these other things to the west. You come in here, and here you got the shoreline of the Everglades National Park. The truth is, you can catch every fish, almost every fish, that swims in this hemisphere right from the shores of Isla Mirada. And Bud and Mary's right at the heart of that. Mm. These sandwiches are amazing. Mmm. Galley girl special. Oh my gosh. Oh Ooh. my gosh. Robert, no other fish in the world could put on an act like that. Not next to the cove. Like if you this. saw that, that bait just came off of there, which is a good thing. Look at Austin Cracker up there. Just getting those beautiful shots. You know, Rick, I love hosting my show and telling my story but my background is as a cameraman. So anytime I get the chance to pick up a camera, yeah. my camera is the eyes of my audience and I love showing them what I'm looking at. Here you come. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> what a wonderful, wonderful fish. Absolutely. Nothing else like them. All right. Be careful. I got you. Uh, it's okay. All right. Yeah, boy! That is so awesome, man. Awesome. Yeah. Hey, when was the last time you saw somebody running a camera and wiring with one hand? When's the last time you saw someone driving a boat with a trolling motor and catching a tarpon? Dude. After watching that fish go crazy, I decided let's go see more than just tarpon. You can thank guys like Teddy Roosevelt and John Muir. Those were the first guys that became environmentalists. Thank God they set away lots of you know, lands for this nation, all the national parks, and this is one of them right here, Everglades National Park. 25 years ago, I fished this very same spot with my brother, Aubrey, Bruno Mas Grande, and we had a blast. So now to be back here with the Stanzix, we're looking for redfish, black drum, triple tail, whatnot, using a little jig head with a live shrimp. Just gonna pitch it up there. Looks like a good spot to me. Looks like a beautiful spot. Oh, a little baby snook. Look at this. That's right. See this? Back here in these estuaries, you get a lot of fish like that. That's a little common snook. There's a few different types of snook. Sword spine, tarpon snook, that's a common snook. And what makes this ecosystem so alive is the vast estuary. This is a huge nursery. This is where all the snook, trout, redfish, tarpon, goliath grouper, and this is where the fish grow up. This is a nursery. Yeah, look at that! Baby goliath grouper, are you kidding me? The wishes are fulfilled. Look at that! So cool! He's pretty, huh? Look at what a colors. beautiful fish. Oh, I'm getting bit right here. Dude, I think that was a shark. Look at the colors on that thing. Beautiful. Wow, how amazing is that? That is so cool, man. Yeah. See you, buddy. You know what they just did? Stuck me at the wrong end of the boat. I ain't caught nothing yet. That's not fair. Watch now. <laughs> I'm at the right end. <laughs> what is that? Oh, another nice snook. Nice snook. All right. Never met a snook I didn't like. Give him a kiss, will you? Never met a snook I didn't like. <laughs> Love it, you guys. Awesome, man. All right, I'm, I'm on the board. I'm on the board. It's not. It's not the size of the fish. 
It's the size of the memory, and I'm telling you, we're making a big one right now. Hey, look around here. Tell me what's not to love, man. What's not to love? All right, you guys, we have had an amazing day today. We're going to head back to Bud and Mary's Marina, and I got a very special recipe I want to cook tonight for these guys over at Nick's house because tomorrow we're fishing offshore on the broad mine with Nick Stanzik. His son, his brother, my friend. So we're going to head back now. We'll see you guys there. While we were running back, I was laying there thinking, what am I going to cook? And I thought, right there. All them fish were eating it. And you know what? I love shrimp as well. All you got to do is pop off their head, pop off their tail, and if you want, you can take a knife and just, just split the top of that shell right there. It's going to come right off and you're going to have a beautiful shrimp. I don't, yeah, they say it's a bait shrimp, but take the bait off and it becomes just a shrimp. I was worried when you said you were going to come over and cook dinner and you were going to eat bait. I thought you were going to bring mullet because he likes mullet. I was going to eat mullet. Okay, drop a thumbs up. <laughs> drop a thumbs up right now if you think we need to go do a mullet catch, clean, and cook. I'm not eating mullet. I'm sorry, but I'll eat those shrimp. Hey, you can put it on the net. You can get that. Yeah, and while, hey, while you're dropping that thumbs up, I want you guys to go over and check these guys out. YouTube is built on information. The number one most searched item on YouTube is how to. The reason I actually encouraged him to start a YouTube channel because you're a wealth of knowledge. Both of these guys were born and raised in the fishing industry. Hi, here's old Mr. Richard Stanzik himself there right there, walking in. This is their family. That's their two-year-old daughter, Sadie. That's Sarah, that's Mr. Stanzik. Yeah, but this is our life. You guys are such a wealth of knowledge. I'm like, you've got to start a YouTube channel. Who cares about monetization? This is about making videos where you can capture these memories of your family, tell your audience what's going on. And if you guys want to check out the Bud and Mary's channel, they do all kinds of really cool fishing reports. So if you want to know what's going on down the Florida Keys, check them out. We're making a bow tie pasta. The real name is farfalle, but I call it bow tie. There you go. And what I put in this water, chicken stock and olive oil. The chicken stock is about 50-50 chicken stock water. And whenever you boil pasta in chicken stock, it gives it just a wonderful flavor. That's your fun fact of the week, y'all. I'm gonna take a little bit of olive oil, like that. This is some sweet red peppers. Throw that in there. That's some yellow onion, like the Vidalia onion. And then we have some garlic. We want this to start cooking. Add a little Everglades. Let that just start coming to life. As this cooks down, we're gonna take our shrimp. Look at that, man. That looks so good. Throw that in there. Take some more Everglades original, doctored up. And then we're gonna start squeezing in some of this lime. Not a ton, but we're in the keys, so I want to use key lime. Look at that, y'all. Now, we're going to take some pine nuts. That's a pine nut, and they have an amazing flavor. So we're going to put pine nuts in this. And sun-dried cranberries. Lots of flavor. Let that start cooking down. Mm. While I'm cooking over there, he's coming to tell me that he has to go. I do. But what I'm telling you is, I appreciate everything you did for me today. And more importantly, I appreciate, while we were riding out on the back of the boat, just the conversation, the stories, I appreciate making this all possible, man. It's a real honor to spend the day with you. I tell you, you're, you're a young version of me, buddy. You got it in your blood. And it's amazing the stories that I told and then the stories that you told and how closely they parallel one another. Well, you know, 
All men die. Do you ever really live? Uh, this that, guy's been living every day. Thank you very much for everything. Thank you. We'll and see you tomorrow. Well, especially thank you for your friendship with these two guys. I mean that. You got good guys. Legacy, brother. Okay, we're gonna see a lot more of you. All right. I love it. You. you guys, right. this is good stuff, man. All right, here we we'll go. see you tomorrow, okay? Spinach. Spinach looks like you're putting in a ton of it, but you're not. Throw a lid on there, and that will just steam. It'll wilt the spinach down. We can turn it over, and we're almost ready to eat, y'all. What'd this take? Five, ten minutes tops? Look, that's a cross section. 757, right? Big swordfish tail, yeah. Bro. Now hold it up next to the fish. Almost as big as the one we're gonna catch tomorrow. Oh boy. <laughs> What do you think, Sarah? Smells good. Parmesan and Romano cheese. We're just gonna make that fall in love. I was gonna just use cream, but she's got some Alfredo sauce. Okay. And I'm not here to be a hero. I'm just here to have a good time. We're gonna drop that in there. Like that. Mmm, hot dog. What once was bait is now dinner. You know what I'm gonna try to do? I wanted to do this in the beginning, but I didn't think I had room. I'm just gonna do this. Rick, I, I gotta tell you, I had a wonderful time with you today. It was just, it was magnificent, running out across the flats, heading to just an amazing day of fishing. I'm glad. It was, it, was, uh, it was really fun for me, too. It was very nice to spend the day on the boat with you. And, uh, you know, I learned a lot as well. It was cool to see you work and uh, how you do things. And like my dad said, you know, you, you do have a true appreciation for the, uh, you know, everything going on back there. And that's really cool to see. I love it. Uh, so, yeah, it was fun for me, too. Good stuff. I had a few bites. I'm impressed. I like it. She's not taste the shrimp and tell me what you think. I think they taste phenomenal. Not bad. Of a bait tank. <laughs> the shrimp are good. Mm, the whole meal, man. This is a day I'll never forget, brother. I filmed with you guys years and years and years ago. We've remained friends. And uh, the fishing industry, the fishing world is a small world, you know? And I, it's an honor to call you a friend, Nick. I appreciate it. Thank you. Seriously. Rick, man, it was an awesome day on the boat today. Sarah, thank you so much for all that you do. Bye. This is the perfect end to a fantastic day, you guys. I love you. I appreciate you. There's going to be more tomorrow, but that's all for tonight. We gone.